Anxious U.S. officials say Raymond Davis now sits in a prison in Lahore, Pakistan, along with 4,000 inmates, many of them militants. He's been moved to a separate part of the jail, they say. Guards have had their guns taken away out of fear they might try to kill him. Worried he might be poisoned, prison officials are using dogs to taste his food. There's little question Davis shot and killed two Pakistani men, but he says they were trying to rob him. Many Pakistanis are outraged over the shootings. American officials are concerned that his connection to a U.S. intelligence agency complicates his case more. Senior U.S. officials now say that Davis, a former Z security agent and former member of U.S. Special Forces, was working for the CIA. Not a spy, they insist, but an independent contractor providing security and surveillance for CIA officers. The Lahore police chief calls the shootings cold-blooded murder. But the police report obtained by CNN says two other Pakistanis were robbed by the same assailants who are carrying pistols, ammunition, and stolen cell phones. But the real diplomatic fight between the U.S. and Pakistan is over whether Davis had diplomatic immunity, protecting him against criminal prosecution in Pakistan. U.S. officials insist it's crystal clear he has the papers and does have immunity. The Pakistani government says his papers were for him to work at the embassy in Islamabad. Davis was working at the consulate in Lahore. But a former State Department legal advisor says that makes no difference. It really doesn't matter if he was working at the consulate in Lahore. If the State Department notified him as a member of the administrative and technical staff of the embassy in Pakistan, then he has diplomatic immunity. Full. Full stop. Diplomatic immunity immunity from arrest, detention, or most importantly, the criminal jurisdiction uh, of Pakistan. Bellinger and other observers believe at heart this is a standoff between a weak Pakistani central government and a regional government in Lahore that wants to hang on to Davis in order to exploit the situation. It's a real dilemma. If they let Davis go, the central government risks the fury of Pakistanis, and if they don't, they could face a cutoff of billions of dollars in U.S. aid. Jill Doherty, CNN, Washington.